Yo, this is Hip Knockers coming from Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I'm new to the whole YouTube thing. Uh, just wanted to get in. Uh, just want to say what up to uh, the Holy Culture Radio Forum. Uh, thanks a lot for all the words of encouragement and uh, helping out Teddy, people like Teddy P, uh, Tony Stone, Mac. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and make a beat from scratch. Uh, I. Hopefully you can tell from here, but I use FO Studio. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who use FO Studio and um, might not, you know, feel comfortable how to do a couple things. I haven't been doing it for too long. I've uh, been making beats for about like three years, and in comparison to other people who are uh, more far advanced than I am, that's not a that's not a long period of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up a new track. And um, I'm gonna use the empty because I wanna I wanna put in my own sounds. I'm gonna use this kick here. I'm just gonna click and drag and use a snare. I mean, well, I don't know how I have it for you. So all I did was I went ahead and I programmed the songs that I wanted into which pad I wanted. And uh, got my kick, got my little rim tap, got my hi-hat, got my snare, my, I mean, my little shaker. So uh, why don't we go ahead and see what type of joint we can come up with. Go ahead and record that. Sounds, you know, pretty all right. Let's see how it comes out. And I'm just gonna click in here to see what's going on. Go ahead and record that. I like that chord progression. Um, there's a couple of resources out on the internet about chord progressions. Uh, right now I'm using a 1-4-5 chord progression, um, trying to study up on this stuff, trying to be knowledgeable of it. Um, for you FL Studio users, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it on song, between pattern and song. I'm going to leave it on song so that it can automatically track into the into the, the playlist. But right now I'm on pattern 1 where I laid off my percussion, so I'm going to press the plus sign on your keypad and now it's going to switch it on to pattern 2. Everything that I'm going to do now is going to be put on pattern 2. Uh, which will be the keys, which will be this part. It'll be that part right there. If you hear it, you notice that the strings are not coming in right on time. They're coming a little bit afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot it up a little bit. Uh, um, as soon as we record. One song. Gotta 
help. All right, here we go. Let's wrap it up. for this session of uh, Hip Knockers video tutorial of FL Studio. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, the next installment will probably be me mixing this. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to try to stay with the same song, uh, mix it up, pan it, the level, and stuff like that. By the way, if you see something that I'm doing that's amateurish, uh, I'm, you know, something, I, something else I need to know, please, by all means, drop me online at hipknockers at AOL.com or uh, go to my MySpace, um, myspace.com backslash hipknockers44, H-I-P-K-N-O-K-E-R-Z, and uh, you know, hit me up, man. I'm gonna need, I need some training, all right? I'm not saying I'm the best. I know, you know, this is what I do, and, um, you know, if it can help you, great. If not, if you can help me, awesome, man. Drop me a line. Tell me what you think about the music, you know, and that's about it. Grace and peace.